everyone. Welcome back to Amps with me and, and on me. And today we should be making a Hartnell accelerator. That's right. Today, yes. guys. Hooray. That's what we're doing. Now. Joe's stuck in a rocket. Um, okay. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. Uh, you've yes. got some Hello. accelerator stuff. It's about time. Yeah. We uh, we've, we're at a new base. You can see on the map. We're in our new place. It's time, Joe. So, Barkley, so this is how I want to build it, Joe. Just build. Oof. You go that way down that path, okay? okay? So just build it like. Okay, Joe. By the way, um, just build it like this. So put the non-glass bits on the top like that. That's on the bottom, and then have the glass. In the spaces. Like cool. just like that. So you have a hole in the middle. Right. So that's how you build it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. So, so now it's time to build our particle accelerator. I go, I go. This way. Yeah, you go that way. Okay. So we'll speed this up. We'll see you guys once it's all ready. Bye. Okay, finished! Okay, wait a minute, there's no front. You have to put the front Yes, we need to put the front on. Okay, well, there we go. There's the main body of the reactor. You go, ch uh, the reactor, the park center. You run that way, check there's no gaps in it. Just look down. Okay. Yes. If there is a gap, there will be an explosion. That would not be good. Um, yeah. So oh. just, just run through. It would be funny for the viewers, or? It would, but. I would laugh. Not for us. Yeah, we'd, I'd probably cry a little bit, you know. Be a shame. Definitely make Tommy's eyes water a little bit, I must say. There's a lot of. Uh, it's a very big tunnel, as you can as you can clearly see. Yay! Okay, no, nothing wrong here. Okay, so. Hopefully. We should the beginning now. Yeah. Okay, thing. let's. Shall I join? You can do the thing. Okay. Right, you so like that this. goes there. Um, can you give me a little bit of that? Can you give me some glass, Joe? Poor thing. Okay, that's enough. Bro. Okay, this goes across here. This goes like that. Whoa. But then, of course, Joe, what do you think we need now? Can you remember what it is? Something to power it, most likely, or...? Oh yeah, but, can you not remember? We need to get the actual particle accelerator block in here. Oh yeah, okay, good point. That That's quite important, I guess. It is, so... Because otherwise it won't work. Yeah, throw all your electromagnets and electromagnetic glass back into the ME system, then we don't need that anymore. So... We uh, we slightly misguessed the amount that we needed. We needed a lot more than we originally thought we did. But uh, let's type in um, particle accelerator now. Okay, so the, oh wow, that's quite that's quite expensive. Okay, so we're going to need some elite circuits. We only need three more of those. That's they sound expensive. Um, what we probably want to do, Joe, yeah. is we need to get some power in. Um, so the power is going to need to come from the uh, a fusion reactor, Joe. Yee. So that's going to be even more powerful than a fission reactor. So for those who want to know what a fusion reactor is rather than a fission reactor, a fission reactor is using like uranium and stuff to create power. Fusion is fusing together of at uh, the atoms rather that than so breaking. That cool. That looks like a big... So do you big... want to start making the fusion reactor, Joe? Okay. Okay, well... Oh we'll, my lord. Yeah, we'll help each it, other. It's make... just a fission reactor with... Elite circuit board, these. Yeah, we'll, we'll help each. We'll help. We'll, I'll help. We'll Steel both make the fusion. Sheets. Yeah. We'll both make it together. Okay. So yeah, we'll be back. We got the fusion reactor. We can start building it up. It's gonna be hard. Okay, Joe. So just type in fusion. Okay. So go inside the um, crafting terminal. <laughs> type in. Uh, no, no. Inside the crafting terminal. Oh yeah, sorry. Type in fusion reactor. Uh, sorry, sorry. Click on fusion reactor at the top right oh, yeah, of your sorry, screen. Sorry. <laughs> um, and uh, hold down shift. Press the question mark. And, and then there we go. You got it. Oh, nice. Look at that. There it is. All its glory. <laughs> okay, right. Oh my so, god, it's like a big chunk of just awesomeness. So, there is a, a lot more green. to this. Um, yeah. We are going to need some turbines. 
so amazing. So just chunky. So I probably need to. Tur uh, shall I program in turbines? Where do I put it? Or do I not? I'm gonna program turbines quickly. What room? We need a separate room for it. It's just like. Oh no, we actually need to. But. Okay. So. Oh, what was that? We're gonna need a lot of turbines. Uh, we're going to need uh, one, two, three. Uh, well, we're going to need a lot of turbines, so I'm going to basically program this thing to make a tur turbines. We're going to make a ton of turbines. Me and Joe will be right back, and we'll start actually building the fusion reactor chamber. Not again. Right, guys, you can see there we just dug out the trench for our fusion reactor to go. Yeah, look at it. There. It looks... It it looks beautiful. Joe's just placed down a future reactor there. Okay, so basically... No, no, no deuterium. De yeah, it says no deuterium in it because we need to add deuterium. Okay, so... We need to get a load of water, Joe, basically. Okay. So we need to get buckets. Wait, wait a minute, I need some melon. So basically you get some buckets from the... Um, from the thing, t from the system. Okay. Go over here, fill up the buckets. And then just fill up the whole thing in water. Now make sure that you fill it with sources of water. Uh, don't fill it up with water yet. T uh, I'll tell you when to start actually filling it up with water. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you got to make sure that you fill it up with uh, sources of water, Joe. Okay, now we get the water back then. Well, once you make a little infinite water source in here, it should be fine. You should be able to just get... You can make a little infinite water source here. Should be pretty easy after that. Has that worked? Yay! We've done it. Okay. Well, that's so cool. It's unbelievable. So this is our fusion reactor. This is actually this little island. This is uh, pretty much exactly what a fusion reactor. Oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> just threw that in. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's exactly our fusion reactor right there. So of course the last thing we need is the turbines, and the turbines is what's going to let us actually, you know, generate the power and all that stuff. So that's why I got a load of Sounds universal cables. I need to go and get some turbines. <coughs> so not all the turbines oh have been God. made. Not all the turbines have been made quite yet. But basically, I'll show you what we have to do. The turbines go in a little bit of a weird shape, as you're about to find out. Basically, um, they go pretty much everywhere. But the main one. Whoa! So, damn. We're gonna connect up in the minute, so, aren't we? So you, you've seen the one in the mist age, remember? Yeah. You can join up three like that. Yes, I totally knew it. I knew it. It looks and then, amazing. And then you do exactly that. Absolutely. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go there. So we're making a huge. So basically, every if you think about the fusion reactor, that had one turbine, okay, going quite quickly. This is going to have tons of turbines going really quickly. So think about yeah. how much power it's going to make. This is going to make so much power. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be like the best thing in the world. It's going to be. This is this is the future of power in real life as well. Future of power. Well, it's Usain Bolt because it's like yellow as well. That's easy, yeah, it's yellow and black as well. So that's not really the It's Jamaica's, yellow. What is Jamaica? What, yellow and green? Yellow and green, isn't it? I yeah. thought it was a bit of black in there. Uh, well, yeah, I think the Jamaican flag has a bit of black. It's like, it's like Scotland okay. flag, isn't it? You should call this setup Usain Bolt. Well, I don't know. This isn't my setup, is it? It's someone else's. Anyway. This is going to be our special one called it's Usain Bolt. It's copyright, Bolt. and it's not like they're going to tell us off. I thought that one was spinning for a minute there. No, it's just a bit of graphical glitch. Ha, <laughs> but we're not going to tell you to create this thing up because we just like that, aren't we? Okay, so we need even more than this. Yes, we do. You won't even believe it. So yeah. more or... go down here. Oh, on the even on the sides. Yeah, they actually go off to the sides. Oh my god. So yeah, this basically um, is completely maxed, maxed out. Um, so it's pretty ridiculous. So it actually has stuff going out to the sides as well on the design. Because um, basically what happens is that um, uh, what these big things overall are more efficient than having nine. So basically what happens is 
that instead of having basically accounting as five uh, smaller ones, it basically counts as if five ninths of the bigger, more efficient one is being powered. So therefore, you get more power. How many turbines have you got? So uh, I need 189, and I had 128. Yeah. Hopefully after this, maybe we could get on to doing a bit more in the moon. Like, because we've got a moon base, haven't we? Yeah. We, we made a link. We need to set up some power and stuff on the moon and stuff like That'll that. That would be so cool. Cause we... And of course, uh, a great thing that we are planning, of course, Joe, is trapping Max. We need to get Max into a trap of some sort. Why not Weber? Weber, Weber? Weber knows what he's doing, but Max, he clearly doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's an idiot. Well, yeah, Weber is, but... Well, we're all, we're all, Max... Apart from you, we're all... Max is uh, Max was definitely yeah, worse kind of in the Max was definitely it's worse in the PvP. He place. definitely Already he definitely fled quite a lot in the battle. Yeah, he didn't get in there. Okay, so we just need to wait for fifty-one more turbines to be made up, and then we can finish off the reactor. Um, actually, in the meantime, Joe. Yeah. We're also, you can start working on the. Um, uh, well, we can start working on making the um, deuterium extractor, so we can start extracting deuterium. Yes. And we'll be right back. Yeah, so we'll get that done, and we'll show you it after we, we've got the turbines as well. Okay guys, we have now got this new chemical extractor. Okay. Got the pump underneath, and I just need to facade the whole thing up. Okay, so... When levels of the empty cell are above limit, stop inputting empty cells. So now empty cells are going in. You can see that started, but I'm going to actually have to close this off straight away because I need to put a thing there. Okay, so active without signal, empty cells need to go in there. Okay, so you can see we're getting deuterium cells and they're being pulled out straight away by this thing. So you can see that deuterium cells are going in. Okay, you're done. Okay, Over halfway. Look, watch, and on. You will see it will make a deuterium cell, and that will put it into the system mm. over here. And we should be able to get some deuterium starting to appear in this. There we go. You can see we've got some deuterium starting to appear. So while we wait for that deuterium to build up, we need to. Uh, is that all of the... Uh, yep, it looks like all the rest of the turbines have been made. So let's finish off with the turbines and we can start getting this reactor running. Okay, so how many more turbines do we need? Apparently, I thought I had all of them. I thought I had all of them. Okay, guys. I have just told my system how to make an, an elite battery, an elite energy cube. So I think we're going to make... How many should we make of those? Five? Oh, probably. Five. Oh, I don't know. probably. Okay. Yeah, that seems the right number. Okay, so we'll craft all those. But for now, we'll bring our... Maybe a few more. Yeah. Five elite. Remember, these are elite, Joe. Yeah, I guess. And right now, we only have two advanced, so this is just going crazy. Right, so... <laughs> um, okay. For this, this is... This is How much is it? Okay, so the final one is over here. Somebody... Okay. And there we are. So now we have all of the turbines, and now we have to join them all up. With M. Um, these cables. Universally. So there we go, Joe. Get it now. That's how dedicated we are, lads. Yeah. To get you fusion reactor. We're only minutes to min. Okay, right. So there we are. We got our fusion reactor. Want to hook up to the particle accelerator now? Okay, I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, maybe I want to do this uh, over on um, overground. So, actually, let's let's try and work out where we want the batteries to be. So I'll use cobblestone. So Joe, just get away for a minute. Let's try and work out where we want the batteries to be. We'll have uh, the batteries like. We'll have power going into the batteries, like uh, one going there, feeding back into there, back into there, back into there, back into there, I guess. You're getting ready, Joe. You're getting psyched. I am 
psyched up and I'm really I'm pumped up. Okay, I got the five elite storage cubes. So let's put them all down over here. These things store a serious amount of energy. Um, quite a lot, just a ton of energy basically. So I put one. Oh yeah, we have ready. Uh, one there. These are amazing. There. Actually. An elite cannon. Actually, we've, we've only got standard then. Oh, we need to get underneath this and uh, change the orientation. Okay, so it's all hooked up now, Joe. Okay. Um... So that's basically one massive battery, so we're storing 160 megajoules in this thing. <laughs> that's a lot of megajoules. Okay, so to turn on the reactor, we need to um, we need to make a path underneath it, basically. So to do that, we probably want to go down like here. Um, Not too close to the water. Okay, so there's the deuterium thing. You have to look at it at this angle, Joe, like that. You can see on my screen. You have to look at it at that angle to actually see how much is in there. Uh, I have to sort of see it at a weird angle. Yeah, kind of, I can see it. Okay, so you can see it on your screen now, no deuterium. So let's go and get some deuterium. Okay. Okay, so, deuterium. Coming up. Okay. Right. First of all, do that. Fix the rest of it later. Okay. Look up top, Joe. God, oh. they're coming from everywhere. Whoa. Okay, don't get stuck in there. Okay, um, let me just help Joe with this spider problem quickly. It's fine, spiders, man. Okay, right, so, three, two, one. Oh. Deuterium I... in. Deuterium's in. Okay. What's happened? Is it generating power? Just kidding. Oh, oh. Yes, I can see. I think I just saw a little bit of light popping around. Let me see. I can't see anything. I think it needs to heat up first. Yeah, it, I can't see anything. Yeah, it needs to heat up a bit. I know. Obviously. Oh, Unless the server is just lagging. Like, big, big, big Unless the server is just lagging thing. so much. I don't see anything. I think we may need to add a redstone signal, so I'm going to go and get a, uh, a lever, basically. Oh! Of course! I remember what you need to do now. You need to get a little bit of power first to put into the thing in the first place. That's what it is, Joe. Okay. So what we need to do is get uh, the advanced battery that we have charging up and place it in. And we need to curl the power background into it. Of course, I completely forgot about that. Because, of course, a fusion reactor, to start the reaction, get the reaction going, you need some power from somewhere. And, of course... Uh, that's not going to happen unless you, uh, well, you have a battery box because, of course, you can't generate power without having fire in the first place. So, uh, let's get some more universal cables. Yeah, they're sheep for that. I'm not actually going to check on while you're doing that. I'm not actually check okay, on well, the Joe, farms. We're about to actually start putting the tyrium in now. Okay. Okay. So, watch out top. To tell me if anything is happening. Three, two, one. Oh yes, it is. Stuff's, hap stuff's happening. Yeah, purpley glow. It's like it's filling up. Okay, that's good. Is there any fire? Uh, let me see. Wait. Oh yes, there is fire. Okay, cool. That means it's all working. <laughs> That's a new way of singing. <laughs> so, that's my victory. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That means that we're all working properly. Okay, so now you can see the middle one is spinning tons, right? Yeah. So we Next. should. So if we look in this thing, look how much power is building up already. We've already got two megajoules. Yeah, it's starting now. Look, Tommy, they're all starting to spin. Okay. Them slowly, slowly going. Okay, here we go. So. These ones right on the edge are going to take a while to start getting up to full speed, but now it's going well. Look, you can see the purple particles down there. You see those purple particles? They're all burning away. Yeah. That's the fusion. That's the water. Hydrogen and water turning to helium. 
Right, so 3.1 3 megajoules, 3.2 megajoules, 3.3 megajoules. This is amazing. Okay, getting tons of power. So, are you ready, Joe? I'm pretty damn the ready, actually. The moment of truth. I have, have been waiting around two hours for To this turn thing. on the so, particle yeah. accelerator. All we need now are some tin thingamajig jigs. And then we can get it going. So we need to make some cells. Two cells. Let's just craft a bunch more. Okay, 64 cells. Let's go. Okay. You ready? Uh, uh, yeah, I have been ready for probably over two hours, actually. To be perfectly okay. honest with you. Cells are in. And Joe, would you like to pull the lever? Three. Okay, two. Yeah. Okay. One. Oh, damn! Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, catch up. Okay. Here we go! Why? Here goes the particle. Gonna... It's, going, it's going very quickly now. Okay. Here it goes. This is me. Oh, oh God, it's starting, to, it's starting to beat me now. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah, it's starting to run away now. There it goes. Still about catch up with it. It's still going very, very quickly. Okay, it's definitely got away from me now. Okay, it's at seventy-six percent velocity already. Seventy-six velocity. Oh, it's past me. It's going really quick. Here it goes. Whoa! There it goes round. How's the fusion ah! going? Fusion's going well. All of the turbines are spinning really quickly. We've got five point six two megajoules. It'd be really cool if you span with the. Ninety percent velocity. Ninety percent. Is it coming round? Fusion's going well. Funny if it Here it comes. I think it exploded now. There it is. 99% velocity. No. 99% velocity. 100. Oh. Oh my lord. There was an antimatter. Seven milligrams of antimatter. Okay. Oh my god. Look at this. Tons of fusion. Tons of light everywhere. Just like flicking around. Look how steady it is. Look how steady it is, Joe. That's amazing. It's 5.62 megajoules all the Bloody time. Hell. How's the fusion going down here? How much power is sticking inside here? Okay, good amount. So that's going to keep but, up. So how much did it produce? We're producing about... We've produced 7 milligrams of antimatter. And I think <laughs> if we look at antimatter, it comes in packets of 125 milligrams. So we're going to need a couple of a piece of cobblestone to go around. So how what should we at now? We're at... So about two hours of work got a bottle. 63% velocity. 5.62 megajoules. It's staying completely still. That's amazing. So, look how much power is going into that. Look how many turbines 72, 73, 74, 75, 73, 74. Yeah, it goes to, I think it goes down when it goes around the corners, but because we've made it so big, it's really, really good. Come on. Here it comes. Three. 84, 85, around 85 now. 87. 90? In the 90s? It's starting to get. I'll go and get a bit more deuterium, Joe. Target now. I wonder if I can hear it all oh, the way. Oh, 97. At I, wonder if I, can he I wonder if I can hear it all the way over here. 99. 100. Done. Oh, I didn't hear it from here. Chemical extractor's running again. That's good. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go and put some more deuterium in the fusion reactor. Fusion. It is climbing fast. Oh, the, uh, the end one's still aren't going though. Yeah, 91 deuterium's in there now. So it used up deuterium quite quickly, but the end ones will eventually oh. get going. They take a very long time to actually get started. Yeah. Okay, so 44% velocity. Okay, I'm going to go and make some ender... Well, we'll do that next episode, actually. Okay, yeah. basically we need to chunk load this as well, so I'll go do the next episode, but let's have a look. 54% velocity. Is the power completely good? Power is still at 5.62. Looks to be completely fine. There's actually, there's actually 31.99 megajoules in here. There's so much power being produced. I think we basically what we need to do, actually, is pick up all these. 75! 76, 77, 78, 79, 80! Keep going, keep climbing. Three, eight, one. Oh. Yeah, I accidentally got rid of it. Just don't worry, don't worry. I just need to put this all here. 
There we go, it gets, it's got going again. Okay, there we go. Basically, I think we need to put all of these in a massive array. That's basically what we were doing wrong before. So these all need to go like this. And a huge array of power. All going into the same place. That'd be brilliant. See, I told you, it's all worth it. Hooray! Woo! And with that, I think we're going to get the new epic, epicness, the word epicness, in the next episode. Yeah. So. Definitely. Oh my God, we'll Joe! Look. Next time. Look at all this power, though. We're yeah. filling up these mega jewels like there's no tomorrow. So, well, there, there we go. We'll see you next time, and I think I'm going to have a sleep now. Yeah. So, midnight, midnight antimatter. So we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Thank you for watching this Cheers. amazing anti-matter. Oh my god, this is amazing.